Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 9th Mathematics, the second chapter, Polynomials. Here are questions and solutions from exercise 2.3 and this is part 1 video. In this video, you learn the solutions of question number 1, question number 2 and question number 3 of the exercise 2.3. Dear children, here is the chapter Polynomials and this is exercise 2.3 and this is question number 1 now. Find the remainder when x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by the following polynomials. First bit is x plus 1, second bit is x minus 1 by 2, third bit is x, fourth bit is x plus pi, and fifth bit is 5 plus 2x. I shall repeat. Find the remainder when x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by the following polynomials. First bit is x plus 1, second bit is x minus 1 by 2, third polynomial is x, fourth one is x plus pi, and fifth polynomial is 5 plus 2x. Here, we have given a polynomial first of all, which is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. Now, it is to be divided with these five polynomials. Okay, The first third degree polynomial if you observe this, it is a third degree polynomial because the highest exponent of the variable x is 3. Therefore, it is called a third degree polynomial. The third degree polynomial is also called as cubic polynomial. Okay, The third degree polynomial is also called as cubic polynomial. Now, we have to divide this cubic polynomial with these polynomials one by one. If you divide the given polynomial with all these polynomials, now you have to find the remainder. Actually, you need not go for division, but using remainder theorem, if a polynomial p of x is divided by x plus a, then the remainder is p of minus a. If the polynomial is divided by x minus a, then the remainder is p of a, isn't it? Let us use that method to find the remainder. Here is the solution now. The given polynomial p of x is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. This is the given polynomial. Now, in the first bit, this polynomial is to be divided with x plus 1. If p of x is divided by x plus 1, then using remainder theorem, the remainder is p of minus 1. You take this plus 1 to other side, then it will be minus 1 are in the place of x if you substitute minus 1 all this becomes 0 therefore the remainder when p of x is divided by x plus 1 is p of minus 1 now in the given polynomial p of x we substitute x is equal to minus 1 now and let us find the value that will be the remainder clear you see here p of minus 1 is equal to x cube means minus 1 whole cube plus 3 into x square means 3 into minus 1 whole square plus 3 into x 3 into minus 1 and this is plus 1 minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 minus 1 whole square is plus 1 plus 1 into 3 is plus 3 this is plus 3 into minus 1 plus into minus minus 3 once is 3 and this is plus 1 you see 3 minus 3 is 0, minus 1 plus 1 is also 0. So that the final remainder when the given polynomial is divided by x plus 1 is 0. Now you see, if, if we divide the given polynomial with x plus 1, we got the remainder 0. Then how can you call this x plus 1 with respect to this given polynomial? You can't understand? You see, if we consider the number 6, 2 can divide 6. If we divide 6 with 2, the remainder is 0. Then how can you call 2? Good. 2 is the factor of 6. Similarly, if we divide 6 with 3, the remainder is 0. Therefore, 3 is the factor of 6. Similarly, here in this case, if we divide the given polynomial P of x with x plus 1, we got the remainder 0. Since the remainder is 0, you can say that x plus 1 is a factor of the given polynomial p of x. Okay, now it is not asked 
but if the remainder is zero you can call this x plus 1 as the factor of this given polynomial okay now, now second bit second bit is x minus 1 by 2 then if p of x is divided by x minus 1 by 2 then the remainder is x minus 1 by 2 you take this minus 1 by 2 to other side then x is equal to 1 by 2 therefore the remainder is p of 1 by 2 if p of x a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus 1 by 2 then the remainder is p of 1 by 2 now in the given polynomial in the place of variable x you substitute 1 by 2 now so p of 1 by 2 is equal to x cube 1 by 2 whole cube plus 3x square 3 into 1 by 2 whole square plus 3x 3 into 1 by 2 plus 1 plus 1 you simplify this now 1 by 2 whole cube is 1 cube by 2 cube 1 cube is 1 by 2 cube is 8 plus 3 into 1 by 2 whole square 1 square is 1 by 2 square is 4 3 into 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 Next, 3 into 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 and this is plus 1. Now, if you observe these fractions, the denominators are 8, 4, 2 and 1. Therefore, the LCM for 8, 4, 2 and 1 is 8. LCM is 8. This denominator 8 in LCM 8 one time. Therefore, 1 into 1 is 1. This denominator 4 in LCM 8 2 times. Therefore, 2 into 3 6. This 2 in 8 4 times. 4 into 3 12. Here the denominator is 1. 1 in 8 8 times. 8 into 1 is 8. Now, if we add these values, 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 12 is 19. 19 plus 8 is 27. It is 27 divided by 8. Therefore, the remainder when the given polynomial is divided by x minus 1 by 2 is 27 by 8. This is the remainder. Now, third bit. If p of x is divided by x, x means it is in the form of x plus 0. If it is in the form of x plus 0, then x is equal to take this minus plus 0 other side, it will be minus 0 or just 0. Because 0 has no sign either plus or minus it has no sign zero is neither positive nor negative therefore the remainder when p of x is divided by x is p of zero isn't it therefore in the given polynomial now in the place of x is substitute zero p of zero is equal to p of zero is equal to zero cube plus three into zero square plus three into zero plus one 0 cube is 0, 0 square is 0 into 3 is 0, 3 into 0 is 0 and this is plus 1, 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. So, the remainder when p of x is divided by x is plus 1. These are the first 3 bits of the first question. Now, let us solve 4th bit and 5th bit now. Again, the same question number 1. I shall read it again. Find the remainder when x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by the following polynomials. x plus 1, x minus 1 by 2, x, x plus 5 and 5 plus 2x. Previously, we solved these three bits. Now, let us solve fourth bit now. The given polynomial is to be divided with x plus y. If this is divided by x plus pi, then we have to find the remainder okay similarly as you know that the given polynomial p of x is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 now fourth bit if p of x is divided by x plus pi then the remainder is p of minus pi means in the place of x variable you have to substitute minus pi then p of minus pi is equal to minus pi whole cube plus 3 into minus pi whole square plus 3 into minus pi plus 1. Minus pi whole cube is minus pi cube. Minus pi whole square is plus pi square into 3 is 3 pi square. 
प्लस थ्री इंटू माइनस फाइव इज माइनस थ्री फाइव प्लस वन दिस इज द रिमाइंडर वेन पी ऑफ एक्स इज डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स प्लस फाइव ना फिफ्थ बिट इफ पी ऑफ एक्स इज डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव प्लस टू एक्स देन वाट इज द रिमाइंडर यू सी इक्वेट दिस फाइव प्लस टू एक्स टू जीरो देन टू एक्स इज ईक्वल टू प्लस फाइव अदर साइड माइनस फाइव and x is equal to minus 5 divided by 2 isn't it therefore the remainder when p of x is divided by 5 plus 2x is p of minus 5 by 2 understood now in the place of the variable of the polynomial you substitute minus 5 by 2 so p of minus 5 by 2 is equal to minus 5 by 2 whole cube plus 3 into minus 5 by 2 whole square Plus three into minus five by two plus one. Now let us simplify this. Minus five whole cube is minus one twenty five by two cube is eight. Minus five whole square is plus twenty five into three is seventy five by two square is four. Plus into minus minus three five is fifteen divided by two and this is plus one. Now you see. Here the denominator is eight. Here the denominator is four. Here the denominator is two, and here the denominator is one. Again, the LCM for eight, four, two, and one. LCM is eight. Now eight in eight one time. One into minus one twenty five minus one twenty five. This four in eight two times. Two into seventy five one fifty. This two in eight four times. Four into minus fifteen. Minus sixty. One means one by one. One in eight eight times eight into one is eight. Now add positive values. One fifty plus eight is one fifty eight. And add negative values. Minus one twenty five minus sixty is minus one eighty five divided by eight. Now one eighty five minus one fifty eight is twenty seven. This bigger value one eighty five has negative sign. Therefore minus twenty seven by eight. This is the remainder when p of x is divided by 5 plus 2x. You see here, dear children, in order to find the remainder, we did not divide the given polynomial with these simple polynomials, but using the remainder theorem, we found the remainders, isn't it? Actually, in order to find the remainder, we have to go for the division. But in all these five cases, we did not divide the given polynomial with these x plus one, x minus one by two, x x plus pi, and five plus three x. Even though we did not go for division, we found the remainders. This is called remainder theorem. Now, question number two. Look at question number two. Find the remainder when x cube minus p x square plus six x minus p is divided by x minus p i shall repeat find the remainder when x cube minus p x square plus 6x minus p is divided by x minus p here we have given a polynomial in third degree a cubic polynomial now we have to find the remainder when this is divided by x minus p Therefore, let us assume that the given polynomial is either p x or q x or some f x. You see here solution. The given polynomial is f of x is equal to x cube minus p x square plus six x minus p. Since it is divided with x minus p, then the remainder is f of plus p. If we take this minus p to other side, then the remainder is f of p. Therefore, in the given polynomial, in the place of the variable x, we substitute p, so that f of p is equal to p cube minus p into p square plus six into p, and this is minus p. This is plus p cube minus p into p square is minus p cube. Six p minus one p is plus five p. P cube minus p cube is zero, and this is plus five p. Therefore, the remainder. When this polynomial is divided by x minus p is 5p, is it clear? Good. Now look at question number three. Find the remainder when 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is divided by 2x minus 3. 
does it exactly divide and give region i shall repeat find the remainder when 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is divided by 2x minus 3 and does it exactly divide and give regions do you know what is meant by exact division exact division means good the remainder should be zero if the remainder is zero after division then you can say that it is exactly divisible for example if you divide 6 with 2 you can get remainder zero therefore you can say that 2 can divide 6 exactly but if you divide 6 with 4 you cannot get remainder 0 then you cannot say that 4 cannot divide 6 exactly similarly here also if you get the remainder 0 then you can say that 2x minus 3 can exactly divide the given polynomial if the remainder is not 0 then you can say that it is not exactly divisible therefore in order to solve this first of all let us find the remainder here in the solution the given polynomial f of x is 2x square minus 3x plus 5 isn't it 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is the given polynomial now it is to be divided with 2x minus 3 if f of x is divided by 2x minus 3 then what is the remainder if f of x is divided by 2x minus 3 then the remainder is f of you take this equate this to 0 then 2x is equal to minus 3 other side plus 3 and x is equal to 3 by 2 therefore the remainder is f of 3 by 2 so in the given polynomial in the place of variable let us substitute x is equal to 3 by 2 then f of 3 by 2 is equal to 2 into 3 by 2 whole square minus 3 into 3 by 2 plus 5 this is 3 square is 9 by 2 square is 4 9 by 4 into 2 this 2 in 4 2 times therefore on simplification this value is 9 by 2 this is minus 3 3 is 9 by 2 this is minus 9 by 2 and this is plus 5 plus 9 by 2 and minus 9 by 2 may we get cancelled and we may get 5 which is not equal to 0 here here the remainder when f of x is divided by 2x minus 3 is 5 which is not 0 which is not equal to 0. Since the remainder is not equal to 0 then you can say that 2x minus 3 is not exactly divide the given polynomial isn't it. Therefore since the remainder is not 0 then 2x minus 3 cannot divide the given polynomial 2x square minus 3x plus 5. Is it clear students? Very good. Now all the video links of introduction to polynomials and all the questions and solutions from exercise 2.1 and 2.2 are provided in the description. You can click them and you can revise them. Thank you. Thank you one and all.